It's an exciting day. I've had a package delivered. gig of RAM. So currently I've got 8 gig of RAM in the computer. It's not really quick enough for Premiere Pro. I get a lot of lagging and things take a lot of time to do. So I'm going to do some speed tests with the 8 gig. Then I'm going to put the 16 gig in, run some speed tests with that as well, and then I can show you guys the difference. So I installed the 16 gig of RAM last night. And if you're wondering why I installed a 16 gigabyte stick of RAM rather than an 8 gig stick to add to the 8 gig that's already in there, it's because my computer only has one slot. So the first thing I did was a simple speed test just to see how quickly Premiere Pro would actually open. From the second that you click the icon to the second that the main screen is fully open. Now with the 8 gig of RAM in there, this came in at 51 seconds. With the 16 gig of RAM in there, this came in at 39 seconds which isn't a massive difference, but it's certainly noticeable and it shows that the RAM's doing its job. The next thing I wanted to do was test the speed of rendering times. So I took a one minute clip, I applied one simple effect to it, which was a color grade preset, which I use for a lot of my videos, and then I rendered it as it was with no other effects and no other settings. With the eight gig, it took five minutes and 12 seconds to render the clip. Once I'd upgraded to the 16 gig, this then took four minutes and six seconds to render the clip. Now on such a short clip, that's not gonna to make too much of a difference to your life, but it's actually a 20% reduction in time. And if you're, say, a vlogger who makes a 10 minute video every single day, in a year's time, that is two and a half days of rendering time that you can save by upgrading to 16 gig of RAM. So up next, I wanted to test the lag on Premiere Pro. This is a problem that most people encounter, and the main problem that most people wanna solve is the lag in the preview window when you're trying to edit your video, how smoothly you can get it to play. So I did a few tests with that in different scenarios. So let's see what happened. Okay, so this is the same clip with the same color grade preset. And I've set the preview player window to one quarter quality. So if we play this, you can see that the clip's usable, it's workable. I can edit with this fine. There's a slight bit of lag in there. I think you'll notice it more on this shot here where things are trailing behind a bit. But in general, it's fairly good. But if that's something that I can improve on still, then brilliant. Let's see what it's like with a 16 gig. In theory, this should run completely smoothly now, seeing as it was only a small bit to improve on. And it looks like it's doing just that. So that's pretty much perfect, even on this shot here. That's exactly what I was hoping to see, so it's definitely working out at the moment. Okay, so now I've stepped up the preview player quality to full, and if I click play on the clip now, you can see that it is going to have a lot of trouble it's lagging a lot more and this is just with one preset on it so when i have more than one preset or more than one effect on it then it lags a lot more than this sometimes to the point where i literally can't even see what's happening uh, and it's just not workable at all so with the 16 gig of ram now in and the preview player quality set to full let's see if there's any improvement on this which, yeah, at the moment there seems to definitely be some improvement there. In fact, that's actually pretty good. There's barely any lag at all. There's a slight little bit, but nothing major, and that's definitely now something that I could work with under these conditions. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to say this is a brand new channel. And I aim to make a lot of content to help people that want to make videos in order to grow an audience on YouTube. So please help me out by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, so just to put the software under a lot more pressure now, I'm going to add an adjustment layer and I'm just going to put that over the entire clip. And then onto that adjustment layer, I'm going to add a preset, uh, just any old random preset. I use this one here. And not only that, is I'm just going to go into the basic correction and stick the contrast up to maximum. It's still on full quality preview player. So let's see how this plays. As you can see, there is a lot more lag there. So this will be a good test to see how the 16 gig can cope with this clip when it's in this situation it's in now. 
Okay, so I'm not expecting miracles here, but knowing that a clip can be worked on with a few more effects on it would be really helpful. So let's see if this has improved at all, which it definitely has. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of lag there. You know, it's not ideal, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was last time. So yeah, all in all, it's definitely an improvement. Now there's some other tips and tricks that you can use to reduce or completely remove lag within Premiere Pro itself just by changing some of the settings. I'm going to make a separate video on that and I'll link it below. So my conclusion is that upgrading to 16 gig of RAM from 8 gig of RAM is definitely worth your while. It's a small price to pay and you're going to get a lot more performance out of your computer, especially when using Premiere Pro and editing videos. But bear in mind that RAM is not the main factor when it comes to performance. You really need to make sure you've got a decent CPU as they're going to affect things more than the RAM can. But if you've already got a computer and you do want to speed things up a bit, I suggest getting a bit of RAM because it's a nice cheap option to get things going. Don't forget to hit subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I hope it's helped some of you out and there's going to be a lot more to come.